take the sec second example integration 2 by 1 minus x into 1 plus x square dx now from this integrand clearly we can say that this is not improper this is in proper form why because in the numerator there is no variable yes whereas in the denominator the highest power of the unknown variable is 3 if I expand it x into x square will be x cube that means the highest power is 3 so that means we can say that we can say that the degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator yes because numerator may variable nahi hai, we can consider it as what x power 0 so x power 0 or niche hai x power 3 that means we can say that clearly we can say that this is in improper uh, this is proper this is proper okay the proper may have to long division method zarurat nahi hai. okay this is another kind of problem hai, same exercise ka hai partial fraction method ka hai. this is another kind of problem because my culture table diya tha total five types of integrand are there okay this one based on the last part that is point number five joe mekal discuss kia tha table me tha point number five me uska expression kaisa tha px plus q by x plus a into ax square plus bx plus c like this asa form me tha or you can say x plus k where ax square plus bx plus c of course we know it is a quadratic expression which cannot be factorized if the integrand is of the form like this then what we have to do you have to consider a by x plus k plus b by ax square plus bx plus c this is the fifth point of that table okay if the integrand is of the form like this denominator dekhna hai denominator may quadratic expression hoga jo ke factorize nahi hoga and here also one quadratic expression is there x square plus 1 or 1 plus x square which cannot be factorized so that means this ka matlab hai ye formula sorry sorry bx plus c hoga extremely sorry this is bx plus c okay matlab jo quadratic expression factorized nahi hota hai usko bx plus c lena parta hai not only b a by x plus k plus bx plus c by ax square plus bx plus c okay so here also one quadratic expression is there which cannot be factorized so that's why i have considered like this so let 2 by 1 minus x into 1 plus x square is equal to a by 1 minus x a by x plus k plus bx plus c by x square plus 1 bx plus c by ax square plus bx plus c which cannot be factorized okay so this is first step say so this is an equation one now can you tell me how many unknown terms are there in this case there are three unknown terms a b and c okay you have to find the values of all the three unknown terms but before that what you have to do you have to take lcm on right hand side part so after taking lcm i got a into x square plus one plus bx plus c into 1 minus x or denominator to eliminate ho jayega from both sides okay so therefore we can write 2 is equal to just expand kiya e sab ko expand kiya expand karne ke baad a quadratic form mein arrange kiya that means x square common liya a minus b mila x common liya b minus c mila and then at the last i have written the constant part that is a plus c a plus c okay just quadratic form may express kya. q express kya. the reason is since you have to find the values of a b and c wo thoda sa easy ho jata hai aisa aisa form may express karne se quadratic form mein theek now to get the values of a b and c what we have to do put x equal to 1 hamesha aisa hai ki x equal to 1 hi put karna aisa koi baat nahi hai depend karta hai equation aur expression ke upar okay so if i put x equal to 1 so, then cancel ho jate b and c. You can check. You can check. Ya pe x ka value 1 put karne se b or c cancel ho jayega. You will get the value of a. Okay. You will get the value of a. So, after getting the value of a, 
Now you compare the coefficients of x square and the constant terms on both sides. Why? To get the values of b and c, the other two unknown terms. Okay. So if you compare the coefficients of x square and the constant terms, what is the co coefficient of x square on right hand side? a minus b. What is the coefficient of x square on left hand side? Kuch bhi nahi. That's why a minus b equal to zero. What is the constant term on right hand side? a plus c. What is the constant term on left hand side? Two. So a plus c equal to two. Since already got the value of a. So if a plus c equal to 2, that means we can write c equal to 1. Similarly here also, since we know the value of a, so if a minus b equal to 0, so b is equal to 1 hi hoga. A ka value put karna hai bas. Now we know all the values, that is the value of a, the value of b, the value of c. Okay, tino ka value hi 1 mila. Abhi kuch nahi, put the values of a, b and c in equation number 1. Equation 1 mein put karne ke baad kya rule hai? Take integration sign on both sides. So I have taken integration sign on both sides. So 1 by 1 minus x. Integration of dx by 1 minus x. Actually we know integration of dx by x minus 1 can be written as log modulus x minus 1. But integration dx by 1 minus x. Agar variable ke aage minus sign hoga to then just you have to put minus sign. Then you write log modulus 1 minus x. Wo hi mein kiya. Minus of log modulus 1 minus x variable ke aage agar minus sign hoga to before logarithm you have to give minus sign okay abhi second part ka integration kaise kiya in between these two term here plus sign is there agar plus or minus sign hoga to first you write separately wohi mein kiya x by x square plus 1 plus 1 by x square plus 1 okay so first term i hope sabko clear hua Abhi x by x square plus 1 ka integration. Mein direct hi pe answer likha. Tum loko ko samaj bhi nahi bhi a sakta hai. Ye second term ka integration mein yaha pe separately karke dikha ta hu. That is x dx by x square plus 1. So how can we integrate this integrand? So here if I put, if I use the substitution method. That means if I put the denominator is equal to t. Differentiation of x square is twice x. This is equal to dt by dx or we can write x dx is equal to dt by 2 yes so we can replace this x dx by dt by 2 so 1 by 2 ko bahar likhna hai 1 by t so 1 by 2 into integration of dt by t is log modulus t t is here x square plus 1 so answer dekho kya mila half into log modulus x square plus 1 Wohi mein likha half into log modulus x square plus 1. Yaha pe mein direct answer likha. Ar yaha pe mein explain kar diya. The integration of this second term. Okay. Now the integration of the third term. That is integration 1 by x square plus 1. Ye kaisa form mein hai? Jo mein 6 standard result diya tha. Wo form mein hai. Ye, mein, ye bhi mein likhe de raha ho. Third term ka integration that is we all know integration dx by x square plus a square this is equal to 1 by a into 10 inverse of x by a plus c to aata hai hai sabko pata hai okay ye form mein hai so yaha pe kya hai integration dx by x square plus 1 1 can be written as 1 square also this is equal to what's the value of a if you compare this question with this formula a is 1 so 1 by 1, no need to write, that is 1 only, 10 inverse of x by a, yeah, x is x only, x by 1, that means x only, so 10 inverse of x plus c, okay, yes standard result, num 6 total standard 6 result here, wo result ka number 3 I, I think number 3 or number 4 formula ho, okay, so, ये दोनों explain किया मैं second और third term का first term का तो समझ में आ गया variable के आगे minus sign होने से minus पहले use करना चाहिए okay so this is the this is another model okay b x plus c कब consider करना है b x plus c तभी consider करो जब denominator में एक quadratic expression रहेगा which we cannot factorize अगर factorize कर सकते हैं तो then no need to consider as b x plus c you can consider like b, c, a, like this. Okay, if factorization is possible. But if factorization is not possible, then bx plus c form arrange. Okay.
we will discuss some more questions